Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and in the series of providing important uh, questions and important topics for IBPS SO marketing, IBPS SO marketing mains 2022 exam. Today I am sharing the depreciation and its accounting topic. Students, this is a really, really important topic. Her sal a question aata hai depreciation mein se. Although it is not directly related to the uh, to the marketing management uh, book, but एक आध क्वेश्चन आ जाता है depreciation से हर साल. So that's what we I'm going to discuss today. Let's start with the depreciation. What do you mean by depreciation? With the regular wear and tear of assets, the value of assets depreciate over time. For example, if you buy a bike uh, today, आप एक bike खरीदते हो. Uh, the, the value of that bike would reduce, would decrease over the period of time because you have used it. Ab usko use kar rahe ho. So what is the accounting entry? Depreciation is a non-cash expense. Aapka cash nahi ja raha hai, but it decreases the value of the asset over the period of time. So depreciation debit because uh, it's an expense uh and it is decreasing the value of asset okay so to asset account whichever asset we are talking about and the important topic today is the uh the various methods by which we calculate the depreciation first of all various factors wear and tear ho jata hai a flux of time obsolete there is an obs uh, obsolescence of our te technology obsolete ho jati hai due to innovation uh, there might be an accident or uh, fall in the market value that can, these are the various factors that can cause depreciation okay depreciation of assets so feature uh, features of depreciation depreciation is an expense okay so it has tax benefits as an expense aap isko profit and loss account ke debit side mein le jate ho and because uh, you are charging depreciation uh, you are making a fund uh, so that you are actually collecting money to buy a new asset. You are trying to replace the asset and it is a non-cash expense. Okay. Advantages, you get the true profit. Okay. Otherwise, if you are not charging depreciation because it is a non-cash expense, aapke haath se cash nahi ja hai. so you won't get a true picture and replacement of asset to replace the asset. You are making a fund. Okay. Uh, so that's, that's why you use the depreciation. It's difficult to replace assets. What are the dif uh, disadvantages? Uh, it is difficult to replace the assets uh, on, uh, you know, by using the depreciation because asset ko hum, uh, you know, write off kar rahe using the historical prices. The prices may change. So that fund may not be sufficient. And uh, we are going to discuss how to calculate the depreciation value. Uh, but most of the times it is very difficult to calculate the life of an asset. It is very difficult to calculate uh, the value of depreciation. So it is actually very, very difficult. What are the various methods to calculate depreciation? There is straight line method, diminishing value method, machine R method, double declining and sum of years. In the previous years, I have seen questions from diminishing value, sum of years and double declining as well. So all these topics are actually very important. Let's start with the straight line method. Let me just hide myself. Uh, see students in the straight line method. Pehle me explain kar in simple language. Mein. Uh, let's say uh, there is an asset. Uh, Let's say there is an asset whose cost, there is an asset uh, whose cost is rupees thousand. Aap hazaar rupay mein, let's say you bought a bicycle, right? And the scrap value, scrap value after its useful life, aap usko kabaad mein bech sakte ho for 200 rupees, okay? And life of this bicycle is four years. What is per year depreciation? So it is simple, the method is here cost minus residual value divided by useful life so cost how much is the cost thousand rupee residual value is 200 rupees useful life is four years so 800 divided by four 200 rupees 200 rupees is a depreciation per year okay 200 rupees is the depreciation per year that is a straight line method we will do an example uh, so before that, uh, how to calculate the depreciation rate? 
दिस इज़ अ सिंपल मेथड टू कैलकुलेट द डिप्रिसिएशन रेट वन डिवाइडेड बाय द यूजफुल लाइफ मल्टीप्लाई इफ देर इज़ नो रेजिडियल वैल्यू सो वन डिवाइडेड बाय रेजिडियल लाइफ मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड दैट इज़ हाउ यू कैलकुलेट द डिप्रिसिएशन सो लेट्स इज द यूजफुल लाइफ इज यू नो फाइव ईयर्स सो वन डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी परसेंट ट्वेंटी परसेंट इज द रेट ऑफ डिप्रिसिएशन ठीक है so there is an example simple example a fixed asset having useful life of 3 years is purchased on 1st of january 2013 the cost of asset is 2000 rupee its residual value is 500 rupees theek hai so uh 2000 minus 500 divided by 3 years so 500 per annum is a depreciation so if you want to calculate uh, for the year ending 2013 2014 half year ka kitna ho jayega 250 rupees फुल ईयर का फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज ओके द डबल डिक्लाइनिंग मैथड एज अ नेम सजेस्ट इट इज एन एक्सेलरेटेड डेप्रीसिएशन मैथड इन विच द एसेट वैल्यू इज डेप्रीशिएटेड एट ट्वाइस द रेट इट इज डन इन द स्ट्रेट लाइन मैथड सो स्टूडेंट्स गिव इट अ लुक हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द डेप्रीसिएशन रेट वन डिवाइडेड बाई यूजफुल लाइफ मल्टीप्लाइड बाई हंड्रेड परसेंट ओके so uh let's come back here cost of an asset it is uh, 1 lakh dollars salvage value 11000 useful life 8 years so you got the useful life 8 years so what is the depreciation rate whatever the depreciation rate is we are going to multiply it by 2 what we are going to do we are going to multiply it by 2 so 25% is the depreciation rate so on 1 lakh dollars depreciation would be 25000 for the year 1 okay that's how we calculate the depreciation okay let's move forward okay on the second year the 70 on residual value is 75000 again 25% 18720750 is a depreciation okay so diminishing value method or written down value method uh written down value method is also another name written it is most popular method uh, used in india as well written down value method also known as okay so what happens in the straight line method let's say in the beginning the value of asset is 100 uh, 100 rupees depreciation is 20 per year so that is how it is calculated so we just divide it 20 20 20 okay but let's say there is uh, there is another method so value of an asset is rupees 100 and depreciation is 10% so in the first year 10% okay so 90 is remaining in the second year 10% is a depreciation 9 rupee would be the depreciation in the third year uh, 10% is a depreciation 8.1 would be the depreciation so that is how we calculate the depreciation in written down value method or diminishing value method cost of asset minus salvage value multiplied by the rate of depreciation that is how we have calculated here okay simple method and the next method which is also very popular the machine or rate method so students if we know uh, for how many hours a machine can be used agar hame pehle se pata hai if a machine can be used for let's say 1500 hours okay so we can divide the expenses i mean if we use the machine for let's say uh, for 8 hours we can allocate the expenses okay so let's do it so for example the overhead the factory overhead for running a machine is 3 lakh rupees and the total machine hours are 1500 right so we need to calculate the machine hour machine uh, rate per hour so rupees 200 per hour this is the expense to run the machine to operate the machine for an hour so for a day we can calculate for a month we can easily calculate that okay uh so advantages it is a very scientific method but it is very difficult to find the machine rate okay some of years method very uh, very popular method actually in the exams not in real life so uh that's how we calculate it so let's say there are 5 years this is the useful life of uh, of a machinery so how how we do it this is the year 1 year 2 year 3 year 4 year 5 and estimated uh, useful life remaining estimated useful life in the first year in the beginning of first year 5 year life is is there then 4 then 3 then 2 then 1 okay so how we do it 
फाइव डिवाइडेड वी नीड टू फाइंड द टोटल ऑफ रिमेनिंग एस्टिमेटेड यूजफुल लाइफ एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द ईयर सो फाइव प्लस फोर नाइन प्लस थ्री ट्वेल्व प्लस टू फोर्टीन प्लस वन फिफ्टीन सो फाइव ओवर फिफ्टीन ओके फाइव वी पिक दिस वन एंड देन डिनोमिनेटर इज अ टोटल ओके फाइव ओवर फिफ्टीन फोर ओवर फिफ्टीन थ्री ओवर फिफ्टीन टू ओवर फिफ्टीन वन ओवर फिफ्टीन ओके एंड दैट्स हाउ वी कैलकुलेटेड फाइव ओवर फिफ्टीन इज थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री परसेंट फोर ओवर फिफ्टीन इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट टू सेवन परसेंट थ्री ओवर फिफ्टीन इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट टू ओवर फिफ्टीन इज थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री परसेंट वन ओवर फिफ्टीन इज सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन परसेंट एंड दिस इज द डेप्रिसिएशन रेट दिस इज द डेप्रिसिएशन दिस इज द डेप्रिसिएशन रेट एंड at this rate we are going to calculate the depreciation okay so students that's actually all for today the ibps so marketing course is available on bankexamstudy.com where we are providing uh, the proper video classes the notes the test series the complete coverage is there and you can also ask your doubts this is my whatsapp number where you can just drop your whatsapp message and you can ask your doubts from us and we are going to answer all your doubts 9067201300 this is my personal whatsapp number where you can actually ask your doubts and i'm here to answer all your doubts i'm always here list of our successful students who cracked the exams ibps so marketing in the previous years all these students they took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams i am really really happy for all of them all these students they took our courses and they cracked their respective exams i am really really happy for them link to join our courses is available in the description students you can join at any time and we are going to help you out for your exam preparations that's all for today students thank you and have a very very nice day bye bye